Shalom, this is Sophia, the Khan Maryam, and I'm just uh, delivering a message that was given to me, and, um, you know, it seems as if, like, some of the things that I've been calling on for, like, the last year are starting to play out, so one of the things I have been saying is that these entities don't want to work with these people anymore, right? They don't want to work with these people doing this wickedness, engaging all this crazy stuff. And so um, I had been um, saying that you might see them start to want to work with um, our people. Um, and I had seen that starting with like um, Diana and um, the uh, uh, what's her face Lilith and you know some of these other higher level ones and now some of the um, other ones are also starting to step forward and try and work with um, our people um, because they're not either they don't want to work with these other people anymore they're just not um, you know they're not allowed to and um, from watching some other readers the understanding that I have is that um, these individuals when working with these other entities had been lying to them and telling them things that was not true about the people they were doing um, their witchcraft against and so as a result they've gotten those entities into a lot of trouble with the most high and so now you know they have to figure out how to separate themselves from those people um, and start working with new people and so this is not to say that the Most High is not still um, the top dog, because that is absolutely the fact. You know, there is none above the Most High. Um, however, um, some of the other, um, some of his other faces, his other names, um, you know, the the lesser uh, uh, entities uh, are indeed starting to say look we've got to work with some of these other people and some of this stuff may not necessarily be in your bloodline because that's one of the things one of the readers have been bringing up about not working with people that are outside your bloodline and so um what i am doing is i am if if i feel like um an entity is trying to you know contact me specifically to work with them what i will do is um i always frame it in in the and we learned about the hierarchy go back on my youtube channel we talked about this i frame it in terms of the hierarchy so i know that the top dog is the most high um along with um uh the, tr the rest of the trinity the sun and um the theotokis uh, make up the basically the trinity and so um i know that that is the, the people really running the show um from the top and then um come through my uh my the rest of my spiritual team and um you know whoever else but i just put it in terms of i have been authorized by the most high and the holy trinity to work with this individual and that time framing it so i'm not putting it in such a way that i'm putting that entity um above the most high but um as a subject of the most high and me being a child of the most high we can work together because i can work with all the subjects of the most high i mean that's only common sense anybody who doesn't believe that i, I don't really know what to say because that that honestly doesn't make any sense like if you are a child of the Most High, that means everything is subject to you. And so that would include these other entities. The problem with other people working with these different entities is that they were worshiping them as if they were greater than the Most High. And we don't do that over here anyway. That's not even like an option. So I would ju I'm just explaining that so people can know that when these other, like for example, in a Discord server, I posted about Santa Morte because, um, you know, one of the readers, has been saying that um, pretty emphatically that Santa Morte is going to try and come to you know initiate people into working with her and what I realize is Santa Morte is just another face of the Theotokis you know or of the Virgin Mary if that you know makes you feel better 
um, but it's it's just the an, another face, meaning the Virgin Mary. People feel like that's specifically tied to religion, and they may feel uncomfortable if they're not a religious per person working with the Theotokos. So she has other faces that people would feel more comfortable with. And I think that's basically what it is. It's, it's these other versions have evolved out of the need for the spirit to connect with people in a way that they feel comfortable. And, um, you know, that's one thing that I would say the religious institutions, they don't seem to understand that when they deify people too much, then other people don't want to work with them and that creates a problem. So um, I think that's what we're, I think that's what we see going on here. So if you get the instinct to research some other entities, um, you know, that seem kind of strange to you, and you don't exactly know what's going on, that could be um, as a result of um, you know, these entities, like I've been saying for a whole year now, they don't want to work with these people because they lie to them and they break the cosmic laws and they've, they've gotten them in a lot of trouble. And these entities now have to go back and try and, um, you know, clean up some of this mess that these people have gotten them, you know, into by calling them in to do things that are against their, um, you know, against the universal law. And we definitely saw this with Lilith because she never asked for no blood sacrifices, but people did blood sacrifices because that's what they wanted. These people, you know, they, they didn't want a bloodless sacrifice. They wanted a bloody sacrifice because they thought it was more powerful and they thought they, they could, you know, convince that God or goddess to, um, to be like Lucifer and be cast out. Um, and maybe some of these gods and goddesses did go along with it, um, you know, for a time, but that time is up. And so now they have to, um, they've gone through judgment. They have to clean up, um, their acts. Um, and the people who have been worshiping them, they're also going to come under judgment and they're going to end up having to clean up their acts or they're going to be removed. Um, because it's the meek who shall inherit the earth, the ones who have never tried to do any of this crap, you know, this 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 um, witchcraft, that's the best way to describe it against people. Um, you know, this witchcraft is when you do something against somebody, right? Magic is not bad. It's witchcraft that you do against people. Sorcery is what you do against people. When you're trying to do something for yourself, that's just a prayer. You know, that's just a, you know, a ceremony or something. But witchcraft is when you're deliberately using malicious intent against someone. And you don't want to be involved in that. And the people who have been involved in that for a very long time, they're going to have to answer for that. And so um, that is what you see going on. And as I see more stuff, I will, um, I will bring it to you. But um, I will say this, um, and this is just so that it gets into the ley line. Um, if my spiritual team does not pull me personally out of this situation that I'm in right now, you won't be seeing no videos from me because I'm not going to be, I, I refuse to start over. I refuse to go backwards. I refuse. And um, I'm not going to uh, submit my bloodline to um the type of torment that is you know whatever is coming at me i'm not going to submit my bloodline to that so i'm putting into the ley line i'm not going backwards i refuse i'm not staying where i am i refuse and if they don't turn my situation around there will be no more me to deliver any messages and i want these everybody to be abundantly clear on that i am not there will be no more me to deliver any messages because I'm not going to be going through this. So this is so that this will go into the ley line and something will be done because I truly mean it. I'm not going backwards. I'm not going to be going through this. Enough is enough. So sometimes you have to take that stance too. So shalom everyone. We'll see you in the next video.